Hi, I'd like to welcome everyone to today's Zenfit uh, preview webinar. We're delighted to have each of you here. And um, I see that we've got quite a few folks coming in, still joining the session. So we're just going to give it one more minute and then we'll get things kicked off. All right, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us today as we introduce Zenbit's new simple email list send. We're gonna take just a few minutes before we get started to go through a couple of housekeeping items. One, this webinar will be recorded. I know many of you are interested in having the recordings after the live session. We will absolutely make sure you receive that. You will get it via email as a link and you should have it within 24 to 48 hours after our session today. Uh, questions. We encourage questions, love them. Please ask any questions that you have throughout the session today. We will be using the go to webinar side panel questions uh, section. If you will please type your questions there, we will monitor those and get them answered as we are able to. Also, just letting everyone know that some of the content in this webinar is future functionality coming out. We'll talk about the timeline and when listservs will be available and uh, we'll make sure that everyone knows when to prepare to be able to utilize the new functionality. So with that, we are going to be talking about our list sends today, and we're gonna be talking about how we can utilize and support lead and contact list views, as well as how we can couple list views with email templates to really help you increase your customer engagement with less effort, and how you can systematically uh, orchestrate communications with groups of contacts or leads. Great. So with that, um, we are gonna jump in. We will talk a little bit about how uh, you access this functionality. So the first place where we're gonna go is the new Zenbit dashboard. For any of you who missed the original webinar that we did on the dashboard, can, I encourage all of you to visit that recording. Happy to share that out to you all. Um, and what we're gonna go here is to the admin view. And what I'm gonna do is talk a little bit about how do we turn on and turn off new functionality being built into the Zenfit platform. Um, so we call this feature gating. And what this does is it enables admins as well as users to make decisions about which functionality they wanna turn on or turn off for their organization. Um, so before we get into um, showing you the list and functionality, I'm gonna show you where you can make sure that this functionality is enabled for your team and also for yourself. So as an admin, we are going to uh, visit the sidebar, Salesforce integration, and you'll notice here uh, that there are a couple of different options for the Salesforce integration setup. Uh, we're going to select email, and once this loads here on our screen, we're going to be able to see the option to toggle on or toggle off the uh, bulk send option. So you'll see here quite a few items here on the list. Um, and you'll notice that you also have the option of being able to see this at the user level as well. Let's look at the email here. If we scroll down, you'll notice that we now have our list send option. So currently, this means that we're in the admin view of the Zendit dashboard and the list send functionality is currently enabled for the organization, and we are letting users decide if they want to modify that inside of the sidebar as well. So just wanna make sure everyone's aware as we uh, release this new functionality, you'll wanna make sure that this is enabled or disabled depending on uh, what your preference is. 
All right, so with that, I'm gonna jump over into the sidebar. So we're gonna look at this on the Outlook application, but it's certainly applicable in Gmail as well. Um, I am currently in a compose mode. And before we jump in, I just wanna address, again, that same feature on off capability at the user level. So we're gonna to go to our more options here. And you'll notice that on the sidebar, we now have this send option. So you'll notice for me, this is actually already turned on. It's enabled at the org level. Um, and uh, so if I wanted to turn that off here, if I gave the user permission, they'd be able to do so. All right. So how do we get started with Listen? Um, this functionality will appear to any user in compose mode. So they will have to be um, in a mode of creating a new email in order to see this functionality. And how we're gonna look at this today is sort of in three different buckets. We're gonna look at it um, around a couple of different user stories. One being, how do I potentially book more meetings with clients using the functionality? How can I increase engagement to invite people potentially to an event? And then also, how do I increase engagement uh, just with communicating easier and faster, maybe possibly to a set of users under one account? So something like a training follow-up. Um, so let's take a look at the first example, which is going to be uh, sending a test list of recipients uh, for a book meeting link. So the very first thing you'll notice is that we now have this envelope in the menu and we can select this, which will then display all of the current list views in Salesforce. So if we wanted to search this down, we could do that as well. So for example, um, if I had a, an account list that I wanted to access um, or if we had a test list, we'd be able to pull that list up based upon the search. And when we select the list, we can actually see who is currently a part of that list. So you'll notice here that um, the contacts can be selected or pre-selected based upon um, what they're looking at. So here, if I wanted to deselect someone, I could do that. So here would be this, or I could select this as well. And then that would allow me to only select the individuals that I'm interested in sending this email to. Additionally, if I go down to the bottom of the screen, this is where I can choose how I want to send the email to the recipients. Um, do I just want to simply display them in the two lines and send this email out to those recipients? Do I want to copy them or maybe I want to blind copy them? So those would be your options for, for the send. So in this case, we are going to select the BCC, and then I'll put my name in here as the primary recipient. And then I can also go back here, and you'll notice that my template view has appeared as well. So if I wanted to send a template to this group, I would be able to do that. So for example, if we have a meeting request here, and we want to insert that into our email, you'll see that it will uh, pull in the email along with the meeting link. So I can quickly and easily um, pull these templates in from Salesforce and include my Zenbit calendar booking link and then be able to send that out to uh, this particular set of recipients. Okay, so let's look at one other example. So if we go back here, we're going to initiate a new email. And from this new email here, we are going to open up Compose Mode again. And in this case, I have a uh, invitation that I'd like to send to my list. So again, I'm gonna select my bulk send option here. Um, here is the list of contacts that I wanna send it to. Again, same scenario here, if I wanted to deselect certain contacts in this list, I have the capability to do so. And then I can populate my email with the recipients. One thing to know about 
the number of recipients that you can send to, it is limited to 500 at one time. Although as an admin within the organization, you do have the option to actually reduce that limit further. So if for your org, you don't want the listen option being enabled for more than say 25 contacts at a time, you would have the option to be able to go into the dashboard and actually set that limit for the user. Um, so that's one important thing to know about the limits there. And then once you have here, again, your list populated, we'll go back. We're gonna see our template view again here. And then for this one, we're going to select our template. Insert that in here. Create our primary contact. You'll see it allows me to see some related objects for this particular one, and it will populate the screen with the template. Another great use case for the simple listen is if you have a set list of users possibly under an account. So we'll take the example of you're conducting a training session with a set of customers and you want to easily communicate back to them in a quick, easy way. You have pre-built templates that you're using for that training follow-up, um, and you want to be able to just populate that into your Compose window. So let's take a look at that example. So again, we're going to come back in here and compose a new email. And then from here, we will come in and select our bulk send option again. We'll just select one of our test lists here. And for this one, we're going to display the contacts in the two lines. We're following up with our training group. For the template, we're going to choose our training follow-up template. And we're going to populate our email. So here you'll see the subject prefills. On this particular email, we have a number of follow-up items that we're supplying to the group that we trained with. And then you'll also see here that because we included a number of links, we're automatically gonna let those links get tracked as well. So we can see you know, from our group here who's engaged with the training follow-up content that we're sending along to the group. So very quick, very easy, simple way for you to be able to send these emails to groups of individuals um, one thing I do want to note around this functionality is that we're looking at, you know, phasing in some additional capabilities to the functionality. Um, so certainly if you have questions about uh, what options you have with Listen, I encourage you to type those in and we'll try to get those answered for you um, so that, you know, we can make sure that as we're going through different phases of this, that we take that customer feedback into account. Um, so with that, I'd like to let us spend the last uh, bit of our session here today on any questions that you may have. Um, but before we do that, I'm going to just bounce back to our uh, option here just very quickly um, and talk a little bit about, you know, when you can start using this functionality. And so we will be sending out a general availability communication this Friday. Um, as I mentioned early in the presentation, you have a decision that you can make. If you want to turn this feature on, by default for all of our users to try, we encourage you to do that through the dashboard. And also, um, if you feel like you want to test this out as an admin level, you can choose to turn it on maybe for a group of users. It's really your preference. Um, but I do want you to know that all customers, whether they're on the expert plan or not, will have access to this new functionality and we'll be able to try it for 30 days. Um, so this functionality is a part of our expert plan. Uh, so we encourage all of you to take a look at this and get familiar with it, um, determine use cases for your organization and uh, feel free to let us know if you have questions. We'll be able to connect you with um, anyone on the team that can help to answer those questions. All right, so with that, uh, we're going to open it up for questions. We have the questions pane available on the GoToWebinar. Um, I do see that we've already had a couple of questions come through, so let's take a look at those here. Um, question was, I was running late. Uh, are we recording today's session? Absolutely. If you missed 
the, the beginning of the slide deck. Uh, we are recording this. We will make sure that everyone gets a link to today's presentation. Okay, uh, another question that we have here. If the contacts are in the BCC, will the names get populated? So the advantage of putting it in the BCC would be to, to not actually have the names of the individuals that you're sending the email to displayed. So in the circumstance where if you're sending an invite out to a list of leads, you don't want the contact shared amongst the recipient group, you would want to choose the BCC as your option there and then set the primary contact recipient to yourself or maybe another team member within your organization that you're working with on that task. Right. Another question was, do we have the ability to import lists in order to, you know, send emails to? So um, currently, right now, we are supporting Salesforce contact list and lead contact list views only. So uh, list views, not reports, um, for leads and contacts. Uh, as we Again, as I mentioned, as we continue to build out this functionality, we will have further capabilities in that area moving forward. But today, uh, it will support list and contact views in Salesforce, list views in Salesforce. All right. So one question was, can a template bring in the names of email addresses into the body of the email, um, or is, is that a no because the list is multiple users? So that's a really great question. So the email templates in Zimbit do have the capabilities of providing you know, some level of personalization based upon fields that you have in Salesforce today. Um, the tricky thing about that is that that personalization really relies on there being a primary, you know, email contact that you're sending it to, to look at that specific contact record and put in that personalization. So um, we would encourage you with the um, MVP of this listen functionality that you consider um, not personalizing the emails um, and making them applicable to all the recipients that you have in your list. Um, question, what contact list does Zimbit pull from Salesforce? So again, we are supporting lead list views and contact list views. Will this webinar be provided via a link to review afterwards? Yes, absolutely, we are recording. So we'll be able to provide a link to this afterwards. All right, great question. Keep them coming. And we've got a few more minutes left. So if you do have questions, be glad to try to get those answered for you. Um, another question was, we have a couple of users set up um, on Zimbit. And as the admin, I don't have Zimbit installed. Am I able to set this up? Um, so if you have a user, but don't necessarily you know, utilize the sidebar yourself, but you can get into the dashboard under a um, username and password, then yes, you should be able to do that. And feel free to email help at zimbit.com and they can assist you um, as well if, if you need help there. So again, that's help at zimbit.com. Um, you can also, uh, I also encourage everyone, if you have not seen this before, um, there is the capability through the More Options tab here to select the Zimbit Knowledge Base, and we have a link here to our live chat. So if you ever have a question, need some assistance while you're in the application, uh, we have a great uh, team behind the live chat here. They are real individuals they are ready to help you and they would be glad to answer your questions and get you the help that you need. So please take advantage of that. Another question here is can I add you know links such as videos or documents into the email template? Yes, 
absolutely you can. Um, we would encourage that you do it as links, though. Um, I don't believe that Salesforce templates today support attachments. So if you uh, can save the document somewhere out on the web and link back to it in your email template, you absolutely can do that. In fact, as you see here, I have some examples of that. Um, so if you have a video out on YouTube, uh, for example, and you want to provide the link to that in your email template, this here is a template that includes many different links um, and a video or a document link um, would certainly uh, work there as well. All right, um, if anybody has any other questions, please feel free to type those in. We certainly appreciate all the questions today. Awesome, well, if we do not have any other questions, we can, uh, close out today's session and appreciate everybody taking the time with us today to join. You no, know, it was a relatively short demo, but we really appreciate everyone being here and getting familiar with this new functionality and uh, look forward to having you all on future sessions and getting you on, on the uh, list to uh, start using this as we roll out the communication on Friday. So uh, thanks everybody for joining and we hope that you have a wonderful day.